Hello Tarpanites, it's Gary Giannone again here with another Tarpon Tough uh, video. This one is Tarpon Tough 3.0, which will focus on the marina and the uh, start of the uh, cleanup. So uh, we're going to start out here. I've got a short clip of the actual Hurricane Ian to start off, so you'll see kind of where we started. And then we'll go through uh, showing some of the uh, shots right after the hurricane and then the process of them coming in to start to remove the boats. So here we go. I hope you enjoy. It's 4.50 Wednesday. The front of the storm has passed. You can see some boats uh, out of their slips, a few leaning over, some stacked together. Uh, we're expecting the back end of the storm anytime. It's flooded over the pool here at Tarpon. It actually looks like the uh, marina uh, shop over there is underwater as well. Here are a few shots I took from uh, the marina post Hurricane Ian. As you can see, the marina suffered severe damage. Uh, the water went up over the uh, pylons of the floating docks. It came back down on top and broke, tore up uh, a lot of the uh, docking all the way around uh, the marina. I'm guesstimating there were probably 10 to 12 boats. But I'm starting at the west and working my way back. Here you see the naughty mower bay before. You see a little life coming back to it. And then you can see uh, boats up, upside down. This is uh, the uh, Silver King. Uh, I asked Captain Rick why they haven't flipped that out and taken the other two boats out. Their insurance company is making them wait until they get down uh, to survey, survey uh, this boat and the two uh, boats they own that are floating upside down in the marina. So that may take a little while. From what I've heard, most of the retail <coughs> stores had uh, water intrusion from uh, the rain of the hurricane. However, some of the stores like Tiffany's Turquoise, they had a pipe break above, so they had uh, water coming down through the ceiling. So we wish uh, Tiffany and all the other retail owners a quick recovery of that. Hopefully they get back open pretty soon. As we continue to move on around the marina, you can see there were quite a few uh, boats displaced. Some of them were up on the docks. Some uh, tore all the way uh, through the docks themselves. Uh, really, really a, a total mess. Uh, that boat ended up uh, flipping and sinking. Uh, another boat uh, down. Here's how it looked uh, back on November the 4th after they had started cleaning up a lot of these uh, boats. So you can see it's starting to come back and uh, at least not look quite like the mess. And we'll have some shots uh, coming up of the actual uh, barges coming in to move the boats. We were without electricity for many days, so they had these portable generators and light towers uh, brought in to help them down at the uh, gas dock early in the morning, late in the afternoon. Uh, this is the boat that was on its uh, side a little bit earlier. I told you it ended up falling off and sinking. Here they are, they've got it almost up. Uh, they're just having the final water pump down. So uh, we had many different barges. This shows uh, two barges in the marina. I've got several uh, clips and shots of them hooking up uh, various uh, boats uh, to these uh, huge cranes uh, there in the marina. So it'd take them quite a while to get these done. That's a pretty big boat that I think was off of uh, G-Dock that uh, sunk uh, when the dock uh, broke and uh, went down. But this will kind of show you the overall size of just some of the cranes and they brought in some that were even much bigger than this. But uh, it only took them about a week and they got most all the boats out, but they are waiting for a few of them uh, as insurance carriers want to see the boats before they get lifted. Here uh, you can start to see some boats coming in. These boats are coming in from uh, Sanibel Island. They're carrying the workers. So the workers, in order to reach Sanibel Island, they would come here early in the morning. They would board uh, these boats. The boats would ferry them out to Sanibel Island. And here they are late in the evening bringing them back in. So you can see two boats coming in. They're packed with people. Uh, sometimes it'd be four or five boats uh, coming in. They probably got, I don't know, 40, 50 people. And you can see them disembarking here. Uh, they would generally get a standing ovation from all the people uh, down at the uh, Naughty as uh, the workers uh, came by. But uh, we appreciate all their efforts. So here's uh, the uh, board meeting. Uh, they're just trying to get it uh, level on its dock. It was really, really sitting crooked. It took them quite a while, but they finally got it pretty much uh, situated. 
Here's, I believe, it's serendipity on the uh, far side of the marina. Uh, there it ended up uh, sitting up on the dock. So it took them uh, quite a while to try to figure out how to get this heavy boat up and back uh, down in the marina. Uh, but I estimate it probably took them probably close to two hours by the time they got everything hooked up and uh, got the boat uh, set back uh, down in the marina. They had a time with this boat out on uh, the end of uh, B dock. <clears throat> so here you can see uh, the diver out there on top of the boat. Uh, he's been out there trying to get everything hooked up uh, under the water. So they get it finally hooked up. They're lifting it. Uh, believe it or not, this is about 20 times the speed <laughs> they lift these things uh, so slow. So they're getting up uh, there. They're doing a pretty good job. Uh, continue to get it up a little bit higher as I uh, zoom in uh, with that. So when they get it up to a certain height, then uh, they try to hook it up uh, to the pumps and they pump all the water out. So here you can see them fastly pumping all the water out. They think they got it all set and good. And as soon as I move my camera, it slipped off the belts and the boat sunk again. So there you see it going back in. After spending about an hour and a half, they're almost back to uh, starting totally over again. But uh, they were finally able to uh, get it uh, lifted. And here you see the still shot of uh, them. They finally got that one up and going. So here came the uh, fourth uh, crane coming in, and this is the Mac Daddy of all cranes. This one was so much bigger than the others. I think it was going down there to uh, get the 100-foot uh, yacht that slipped off the end of either G or H dock. However, the next day I went and looked, and um, it looks like they were unsuccessful doing that. Rob Black got a good clip of them uh, moving this boat. I'm not sure the name of the boat, but he sent me uh, this clip. Uh, if you remember the boats piled up about three high uh, out on uh, Sea Dock, I believe it was, uh, kind of over Nikki's boat. Uh, this is them. Miss them getting their first boat off, but this is them getting the uh, catamaran off of uh, the top of that, uh, bringing that down. And then finally you can see the catamaran, they've got it set uh, down to the right of uh, Nikki's boat and finally got that mess straightened out. So the marina was... Uh, quite active uh, over this particular week as there were cranes moving things all over the place. Here's them uh, bringing their big water pumps uh, back from the dock onto the barge as that barge is about to head out. Uh, they really worked to get all these uh, boats off the dock. Uh, this is I think that charter boat, it's lobster something. Took them a while to finally uh, get this one down and off the dock and in the right position. but. Uh, Finally, after a lot of work, uh, they got that one done. Then about that time, I thought I saw another uh, barge coming into the marina, as that would have been our fifth barge. However, as I found out, uh, not all the barges in the world were coming to uh, Tarpon Point Marina. I'm guessing that one was probably going over to uh, Cape Harbor to help our friends over there. I asked Captain Eric Wells if he would uh, do a short update via video for us on the marina. Uh, currently they're not quite ready uh, to make any announcements. They're in the process of getting three bids on what it costs to uh, remove everything out of the marina first of all. They're also having engineers uh, come in and study their overall marina. He told me that the marina was originally built in 1989 so it's 33 years old and those pilings are really only rated for about uh, 25 years. So it seems like uh, from what they say that as long as they keep the same footprint they don't have to go through the permitting process and that's the thing that can take a long time. So they still got to figure out how they're going to uh, configure it as far as number of floating docks versus which one will be on piers. So uh, he promised to get that out to everybody in writing uh, by the end of uh, next week. I believe that's the uh, 18th. So. We'll look forward to seeing that one. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye. Lastly, don't forget the employee Christmas fund. Here's a reminder as well as the uh, mailing address. So if there's anything I can do for you here, whether it's uh, real estate related or anything related at all to Tarpon, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Give me a call, text, or shoot me an email. I'll be glad to help you out no matter what it is. Have a great day.